Hi, I'm John Edwards, and this is A View from the Pew. Today, in the, in, the, in the first reading, we get to hear about Job. And I don't know about you, but every time I read about Job, I feel pretty bad about how I, how I live my life as a Catholic, how I deal with suffering in particular. You know, here was this perfect servant. I mean, God basically was bragging on him to Satan. And then all of a sudden, he allows Satan to go and to try to turn Job from him. And so, in an instant, this guy who had done nothing but follow God with all of his being and all of his heart had everything taken away from him. I mean, just in the reading alone, he today he lost his livestock and all of his children were killed. That's not even the whole story. It's just the part we read today. But what does Job do? He doesn't complain. He doesn't curse God. He doesn't turn his back on God. He doesn't ask why. He pulls his clothes off. He lays prostrate on the ground. He cuts his hair off and he says, Blessed be the name of the Lord. He says, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. And it goes on to say that he never sinned against God. And he never was disrespectful to God. I can't say the same thing. There's been so many times in my life where, where I've suffered and I've blamed God. I've turned away from God. Heck, when my mother died, I basically told God I hated him. But Job gives us the, the roadmap to how to live as Christians. That no matter what God gives us, we accept it as part of his plan. And we allow our suffering to be turned into something for the good of someone else, to be offered up for something else. Jesus and his father never promised us that following them would be easy. Never did they say that. But they do ask us to take everything that we're given and trust them and understand that they have a plan and then take that suffering that we have in our life that we're going to experience in our life and offer it up and let it go to good use for somebody else in our life. Let's start to live like Job. It ain't going to be easy. But we can do it with Lord's grace and mercy and love. Thanks for your time. God bless.